Hi guys, Alex here. Today we're gonna talk about um, the placket. Our Henley top has a placket, and uh, the new uh, branch blouse has a placket in the front. So uh, I wanted to give you a few tips about um, getting the perfect placket. So let's start by cutting the placket as per the pattern instruction. I'm using the um, one from the branch blouse, but you can use the same uh, tips and tricks that I'm giving you today for the handlist too. Uh, I added, I'm using like um, rayon chali fabric, so I'm, I'm adding um, lightweight interfacing on the back. I already ironed that on. So what I like to do is mark with either uh, tailor chalk or um, fabric markers the guidelines for folding uh, and pressing because that will be our next step so start by press by marking a quarter of an inch away from the edge for the uh, i'm using the guidelines for the blouse uh, but the henley might be slightly different just make sure you follow the the marking directions from the pattern. Then I'm going to go ahead and mark half an inch. You don't have to take this extra step of marking on the uh, interfacing, but for me it makes it easier when I go press. If you're comfortable enough to go press without marking or you have like a um, hem um, pressing thing that you can use when you do the pressing to make sure it's exact, you can definitely go ahead and do that. Then we're gonna go ahead and mark, I like to mark the center first. That's the center. And now, once I have my center marked, I think I'm, I bumped into my tripod. You guys can see a little better now. Once I have my center marked, I'm gonna mark the three quarter um, the three quarter marks. So from the edge three quarter, it means it's a half an inch from the fold line. So I'm gonna do my half an inch here. and then half an inch from the fold line or three quarter from the side on the other side. And then I have another half an inch from this line, which will make it a quarter of an inch from the center. I could have made a center a dotted line So these are my, mar my markings on it. Now I'm gonna go ahead and press along the markings. So we'll start by pressing the first quarter of an inch. side then I'm gonna go ahead and mark and press the other side quarter of an inch and then I'm gonna be pressing the bottom half an inch and now we're gonna press towards the center the first half an inch mark you could use some starch spray right now to make sure you get crisp press lines or you can use some best press and then I'm gonna do it on the other side again towards the inside the half an inch 
if you have um uh, one of those wooden tailor claps those would be perfect for this instance to get crisp lines so right now we have the two then i'm gonna be marking the last half an inch and then the on the other side I'm trying, as you can see, when I'm pressing, I'm trying not to press on the marks that I just made to keep it as crisp as possible. So the last step that we need to do when prepping is to make sure we snip the half an inch on the bottom. So let me grab some scissors and we're gonna cut this mark here this half an inch and then the one here and then one here and then one here so you have a total of four cuts on the bottom so this was the prepping side prepping part of the placket